Yeah, if you want to shoot dime sized groups like this. 35 yards. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to tune this gun to do that with all your favorite pellets. Fox Air Power went ahead and sent out the AEA Varmint in 25 caliber. So we're going to test all these different pellets. 25 grain, 33 grain. As well, I'm going to show you how to tune this for perfect accuracy. Here we go. This video features adult pellet guns intended to be used by people over 18 years of age. The pellet guns in this video run entirely off compressed air. They use no propellant such as gunpowder and must not be confused with any form of tactical firearm. All air gun shooting in this video is done on my own private shooting range in a clear and open area. I just got done reviewing the AEA Challenger Bullpup in 30 caliber and the Challenger comes in a 32 inch barrel version that basically gives you three times the power of a normal air gun. So that's in 22 and 25 caliber as well as 30. So you can get a 22 caliber that shoots 80 foot pounds which is as powerful as a Huban. So definitely check out that video. This is another impressive gun from AEA though. I got this gun sent over from Fox Air Power. They're at foxairpower.com. They got a really good selection of AEA rifles as well as air gun accessories. They sell Donnie FL LDCs, some tricky stuff by Vlad Parts, and looks like hollow point ammo too from Mr. Hollow Point. So that's cool. And they have some uh, nice optics there too. So I was able to actually pick two guns out of the AEA lineup to review, and I picked the Challenger Bullpup 32 inch barrel. 30 caliber, which is one badass gun. And I also picked the AEA Varmint. Real quick before we get to the tuning and accuracy testing, I'm gonna show you guys what you get in the box. As well, I'll give you some hardcore stats. As well, I'm gonna tell you guys all the things I really like about the Varmint. There's a link below where you can buy my switchblade now. By the way, Terry over there at Fox Air Guns is super cool. Comes with two magazines. You get a fill probe that's already machined, so it's just ready to put right in your hose and fill up your gun. No need to buy an adapter, so that's really cool. As well, you have a super cool tactical six position stock. If you don't have a spanner wrench, you can put it in position and just give it a few taps with a screwdriver and that notch right there. It'll tighten right up. I had no problem getting mine on straight and tight. As you can see, this gun is beautiful. Nice sharp lettering. The butt pad is actually really nice rubber in the back. Polymer stock. The folding stock is all metal. Nice and robust. It snaps open and shut real easily. When it's open, it's nice and solid too. It does have a single stage trigger, although it's pretty nice. We'll get a trigger pull weight on that in a second. One of the best things about the Varmint is the high-end grip. It's a nice soft rubber grip. Sort of a Hogue style high-end grip. And it really feels great when you're handling the gun. I really like the look of the HP Varmint. And it's awesome that you have the integrated sound suppression system already built in. So that's the power wheel. You can turn the power up and down. We're going to use it to tune it in for FX and JSB pellets. Like I said, it's got a single stage trigger. Nice one though. One of the coolest things is the end of the shroud. And really the 24 inch barrel with the baffle system in there. It's just super cool. You're just going to hand tighten your shroud when you take it on and off. So there's your baffle system, what's inside there. And as well, there's a, it's probably a harmonic balancer on the end right there of your barrel. So all those baffles are going to fit in front of that inside your shroud right there. You never want to use a metal cleaning rod to clean your air gun, but you do need to clean your air gun the first time before you shoot it. You also want to use Ballastol, that's safe for air gun seals. All air guns have preservative gunk in the barrel that helps preserve them when they're sitting on the shelf. So get that black stuff out of there for the best accuracy. This gun has a fill pressure of 250 bar or 3600 PSI. And as long as you stay in that green zone, you will have no change in your point of impact. It also has a very predictable shot string and you guys will see what I'm talking about. I got this barrel nice and clean off camera, put it back together, and here we are, ready to shoot. So before we adjust the velocity on this gun by and turning the wheel on the other side, we're going to go ahead and see what this bad boy is shooting straight out of the box. 
we got the super heavy 33.95 grain JSB pellets. That is 64 foot pounds of energy. Now I'm just going to turn this down to 890 feet per second. So to tune this gun, you have to loosen the screw on this side and then directly across from it on the other side. You can turn your power wheel up and down. Then when you got it at the right spot, you tighten this screw back up again. So when I was getting to my desired FPS, I had to give it just teeny little adjustments. The velocity of the gun sticks where you put it. If you put that thing to 826, it's just going to start drilling shots at 826 over and over. So I went ahead and tuned this to 890 feet per second for the 34 grain. And I was punching out the bullseyes. Dime and nickel size with five shot groups. But I got the best accuracy from this gun when I switched to the 25.39 grain. When I looked it up on Air Gun Nation, it said that the 25.39 grain GSB liked to fly between 850 and 870 feet per second. So what I did is I went ahead and tuned in for 870. And what ended up happening was that at the beginning of my shot string, where my tank is full, I'd be shooting exactly 870. And it would very consistently, very predictably go down so that by the end of my shot string, I was shooting 850. So it really worked out perfectly. The entire green zone on the manometer is going to be in that perfect window between 870 and 850. And there's absolutely no change in your point of impact. Really awesome. Look at that, you guys, dime size and four through the same hole. All right, now let's just say that's my demonstration, okay? It's so cold out here right now. <laughs> and we will annihilate some of these bullseyes with these FX that I dropped on the ground. All right, so I got FX. I don't know if I'm gonna have to sight in again or what. Here we go. Probably, we'll shoot a group and then we'll sight it in. One hole in it, as usual, with FX. These are the ones I dropped on the ground, too. Ooh, nice. All right, so let's just give it a little clicky-do. Those are about, I wouldn't say quite a nickel. Probably a half-inch bullseyes with those are right there. I might have clicked up too high. This gun's reliable, you guys. It never does anything weird. Um, I had to shoot it quite a bit and my camera kept dying and all this other stuff so I ended up shooting this thing for a couple hours yesterday and super consistent you do have to get used to the gun and once you kind of relax that's when it comes alive if you're gonna sit there and be super tense you'll make most of your shots but this gun does well for a gun that's not regulated, extremely consistent shot strings. And I'm going to shoot a few more. And then I think we're going to go back to the JSBs because those might be shooting a little bit better. Yeah, see if I can hold it on the target and I do my part. I'm a little out of practice with shooting because I just haven't shot a lot of guns lately. Look at that, you guys, plugging it through the same hole. Aim small, miss small. That's why I do better on those ones sometimes. Let's just do one more. Might as well try to go most of the way through the shot string. Yeah, see that first one I wasn't relaxed on. There we are, 850. This thing drills bullseyes. I mean, look at that. God, I gotta get a perfect one though. All right, see, we're at 947. This thing's so predictable, okay? So like, you could just count how many shots, I don't know. Let's just say it was 29 shots. Take you to 845. That's gonna do the same thing every single time. So you just know, hey, I need to refill at this point, whether it's right at the end of the green zone 
or whatever and you're gonna be golden so look we guys we got no change in the point of impact yeah that's the key you got to relax this thing is good I almost said the G word this is a nice varmint HP by the way the air tank on this bad boy is 450 cc's it weighs 6.5 pounds got a 24 inch barrel got a 3600 PSI or 250 bar fill it holds 12 shots in 22 caliber 10 shots in 25 caliber you're looking at 63 foot-pounds on a 22 caliber with 70 foot-pounds on a 25 caliber here. 11 millimeter dovetail scope mount. Got an overall length of 45 inches, but when you fold the buttstock close, 36 inches. All right, that's it for me on this one, you guys. The reason I only shot this at 35 yards is because I think we got a real good demonstration of the accuracy. And as well, I need to burn through these videos as quick as possible right now. Definitely go check out foxairpower.com. Give Terry a call if you got any questions. They have AEA guns, semi-auto, all the way up to 357. All right, thanks again for tuning in. Happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.